Hey, what's going on, everybody? Video 44 coming at you another video. All right, so um, I just saw the picture of Ben Simmons uh, looking uh, at the camera, of course, but behind him was a TV screen showing the score of the Philadelphia uh, Heat game. And, of course, uh, as you know, Philadelphia was uh, eliminated tonight, and the Heat moved on. So he had this kind of goofy looking grin on his face and you know it's one of those situations where i just say ben you know when you're trying to convince people that you're focused on uh turning a new leaf that's not the image you want them to see man i get it you couldn't resist if i were you i probably want to do the same thing but you got to remember how how you come off you know what i mean and it's like you want to be mindful of that <clears throat> because you're trying to you're trying to recapture your, your value in the NBA and you're trying to recapture the trust of the people that, um, you know, are rooting for you. And and some of them are skeptical because they're listening to the narratives. Others can think for themselves. But most importantly, they're waiting for you to get back to being Ben Simmons. And so maybe I could say this is that because, you know, Ben Simmons has always been a, a cocky character. But in this case, I just don't think it was the way to be seen when you got uh, this this kind of energy surrounding your name. That's how I look at it. I, I, I don't blame you, you know what I mean, in, in the spirit of uh, trash talking. You know, if this was somebody else, it would not be no big deal. If this was Patrick Beverly, we laugh it off. I get it. But at the same time, you got to know where you're at, your lane, and how what it is you're trying to accomplish and whether or not this this particular move was the move that that'll get you where you want to go and uh have you looking the way you want to be looked at so that's really what i want to say man sometimes we we get in our own way and we can't help ourselves man i know how that go in a lot of different ways in my own life even now as i as an older guy but at the same time you, you know when you see it uh it, it's probably important to to help others and point it out and i'm thinking that's a bad decision a lot of people going to jump online tomorrow and blast him about it. And I'm pretty sure he knows that's coming. Uh, you know, it's the off season. So hopefully the publicity, <laughs> he could parlay into some money or whatever it is he's trying to do. But at the end of the day, I just feel like it's, it's bad publicity. If people are going to be looking at him and saying he's not serious or he is capping about where he's at with his, his health. But, you know, at the end of the day, that's that's not for them to judge based on anything that they're seeing in this picture um, but they're gonna do it anyway and you give them the ammo to do so so i think sometimes you got to protect your own mental health and the best way to do that is to to start with with one's own behavior because a lot of times the, the energy that we we put out brings back the energy that harms us you feel me you end up getting upset because the people reacting to what it is that you just did so we got to recognize those things before uh before they happen so that you know we can use preventative measures within ourselves don't even create the environment for such things you know what i mean then you won't have to sit back and say it's a stress it's stress because because of stuff like this that happens first so and that's how i look at it man that's just how i look at it but anyway i wanted to hit, just kind of get a little quick video in just got to listen to that kendrick lamar album he delivered once again and uh that's the mindset i'm in man that's why i'm relaxed so i hope everybody's enjoying their night and uh, that's that's it. That was just my little opinion. BDL44. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out.